we are going to write our first program although i have shown you two programs before this is the actual first program where i am going to show you how you can write your name onto a file on the hard disk or if you are using the online gdb compiler i'll show you that also so in order to write your name onto a file if you have to display something on the screen we use the printf similarly we have a function which is declared in the standard header dot h that is stdio.h called as fprintf f stands for file printf so in order to use file printf i have declared an array of characters or a string called as name width 50 i have used a pointer to a file type of structure star fptr because this fptr helps me talk with the file on the hard disk without getting into all the details and complications so first thing what i am going to do here is i am going to say fptr is assigned f open file is my name dot txt whatever is within the double quote is the name of the file i am saying w because i have to write my name onto the disk if i am reading it it will be r then next thing when i try to write a file there may be problems that the hard disk is full there is some hard disk is not working so then what will happen is fptr in that case will turn out to be null if fptr is equal to null it indicates that i am having some error creating the file that's why i exit with a flag of 1 this exit prototype is declared in standard lib.h so i exit and then i come off then what i am doing is in order to enter your name since i am reading with scanf the minute you hit a space it's going to stop reading so just assume i want you to enter your first name let's say your first name is arjun so in the name arjun is going to be stored then take a look at fprintf fprintf has three parameters normally if you are using fprintf you will just have percentage yes and name here you have an additional parameter called fptr this represents the file pointer so file pointer has link to the name of the file the location of the file and so on so whatever name i have entered as arjun i am indicating that it is a string percentage s indicates a string that name is taken and written into the location referred by fptr fptr is referring to the name my name.txt on my hard disk so the three parameters are first is your this name is called as is an array that's why generally it's given the name buffer percentage yes is your conversion specifier or format string fptr is nothing but the file pointer which we are using all right now or you can think of file pointer as the source of input or output what is the source of output here your source of output is a file on the hard disk so fptr is your stream which i had spoken in the first video and finally when i have done everything be sure you close the file because you can get into problems your file may not open correctly next time when you open it for reading if you fail to close it so be sure you close your file when you are done working now let me talk about how the prototype of fprintf looks so fprintf will have this particular prototype it returns a value integer it indicates what is this integer value if name is of 10 characters it will return the length of the name that means it has written 10 characters so it will return your fprintf will return 10 suppose after percentage s there is a space so 10 plus 1 the space is also written so it will return 11 as the return value of fprintf file star stream what does this indicate what is my source of input my source of input is fptr which happens to be referring to a file on my hard disk so my output destination or output is my file on the hard disk constant care format this is this whatever is in this double quote the conversion specifier and whatever it is this is called as the constant care format this is a pointer to a string because this is an array of characters and i should not be able to change that's why it is referred with the word constant name is nothing but you can have name you can have you can have multiple percentage s you can have multiple percentage d you can have multiple percentage c so name happens to be just one argument that's why i am saying here zero or more arguments are here so i can have percentage s percentage s one can be first name next percentage s can represent last name 
Then what this fprintf is returning, it returns the number of characters written. So suppose I have written 20 characters, fprintf will return 20. Now, if there is an error while writing, okay, for some reason there is an error, it will return a negative value. So if this int happens to be a negative value, then you should understand that there was some problem trying to use the fprintf while trying to write data onto the hard disk.